what the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle in order to take on a loot pinata. I mean, this is like the easiest way to get Dragon Stones uh, for a lot of people because Boss Rush is out once again, stage 12, and that is an e look at this, an easy 35 Dragon Stones for everybody of all ages, all sizes, all ranks, whether you're bringing damage dealers or tanks. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite size rappers now sense in my home. Alright, so I ended up bringing just like whatever for items, because I don't even really care this is boss rush bro this is like such easy content but uh i did want to talk about uh yeah this is actually pretty good pretty good rotations to start off oh actually this is kind of perfect because check this out even though i'm gonna give that vegeta only two so you're like wait a second you missed super attacking with vegeta no 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 you're gonna get four orbs here you're going to be able to get your unit super attack and you're getting that rainbow orb. So now he's got a uh, nice chance to dodge and he's giving in everyone key and he's giving everyone attack and defense. Very, very strong PyCon. Still love that unit. Very, very powerful. Uh, but yeah, I want to talk about the 6th anniversary because the 6th anniversary is currently live. Uh, actually, I should probably change this banner up, uh, up above me to the 60th anniversary actually i think i'll do that while i'm super attacking um and it's gonna end up being huge but that's fine so 60th anniversary is currently whew, 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 whew. all right there you go change the anniversary <laughs> change the symbol so it shows 60th anniversary don't come back it actually looks really clean i ain't gonna lie but anyway let's get this show on the road because this is a pretty damn long event and uh, I really don't want to get left behind here. Uh, wow, that is a lot of rainbow orbs for the boy Int Gogeta. So that man is going to be able to do a whole lot of good. Uh, and this uh, eight orbs, I'm surprised he's not able to get anything more than that. But I'm actually going to only give him this because I'm still going to be able to 12 key even... Even though I'm missing the super attack. That's the beautiful thing about PyCon that I absolutely love. PyCon, PyKuhan, I don't know how to pronounce his name, bro. Like, that's still a mystery to me in every every sense of the word. But this is a strong team connected to Hopes. I, I do enjoy running this. I like running PyCon in general, bro. Like, he's just a really dope unit that helps out a ton in a, a lot of different scenarios. Oh, I probably should have kept some of these cats on here off of here that takes so long because this video is going to be like 40 minutes long <laughs> with how long some of these damn transformations are but it is what it is uh am i going to be able to super attack with the boy i don't know uh, i probably will be able to right um with this dude i'm not going to i don't think uh actually yeah i can let's do this here and then let's give this gentleman all those physical orbs Boom, and then we grab those in orbs for the boy, and now we have a real clutch rotation that's going to be doing a ton of damage. But yeah, I, I mean, listen, boss rush is here. If you can do Dokkan events, you can do boss rush. It's just that simple. It's not particularly difficult. It's normal Dokkan event difficulties. Literally, the Dokkan events just stack back to back to back. But you have a bunch of items that you can use to clear this stuff. So uh, if you have the Ginyu Force Squad, if you have um i mean i don't really need to use that so i don't think i will but if you have any of those those units then you'll be more than fine um hmm, this is gonna be tricky because no one's really gonna do well here so i think i'll do this we'll grab this just so he can do his own thing unit super attack and then we'll grab that. No crits, but it is what it is. And Vegeta's not going to be able to super attack, unfortunately. But what can you do? But yeah, if you have any team that's capable of defeating, you know, pretty much all the Dokkan events, then you're going to have no trouble with Boss Rush. It's just here to give you a free 35 Dragon Stones. That's really all it's there for. Uh, and it gives you a little bit of content, right, that you can do. And if you want to go test out units uh, and you don't want to bring it into like Legendary Goku event or you don't want to bring it into like a Super Battle Road or whatever the case is, if you don't want to go 
too try hard on some of the uber difficult events and you're just trying to you know play around with the unit boss rush is perfect because again they're just normal dokkan events so characters are going to look really strong uh that are supposed to look strong early uh it's not necessarily a event to bring uh units that look good later in fights because uh, you know they'll probably be dead look it's turn five and we should be finishing up uh very 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 soon this is probably don't this could potentially be a one-shot rotation here i'm not 100 percent sure uh but let's see he does have a lot of health bars but uh eh, vegeta's probably not stacked up enough offensively to be able to do so but i don't know we'll see what uh gogeta is able to do and pycon's able to do but either way uh boss rush is very good i talked about this in another video that i'm really happy that they have an event like boss rush in the game that's able to give people a big chunk of dragon stones very quickly and easily because you know, that's like, what, 60% of a multi right there. 35 Dragonstones is really good. Um, probably a little bit more than 60%. Yeah, this was the final rotation. Woo! Easy, baby. Let's keep going. How many bosses? Oh, my God. There's four more bosses. Uh, this, all right. Well, we we got to speed it up. We got we to gotta destroy these cats as fast as possible. But boss rush really makes it so people that typically cannot clear this type of content, clear difficult content, and uh, aren't able to defeat, you know, a bunch of bosses here and there, uh, they get a big boost. Um, not only in, like, confidence is a weird word uh, for Dokkan battle, but listen, if you're trying to do the God of Destruction event and you're just getting destroyed over and over again, if you're trying to do Extreme Super Battle Road, you're just getting destroyed over and over again. If they keep on, if you keep on hearing like how many rewards there are for completing GT Legend of Goku event, yet you can't do it with any team, then you're going to want to go into boss rush and be like, all right, now this is something I can do. Now this is something that I'm going to get rewards for doing. Like, this is awesome. This is great. I absolutely love it. And uh, it makes it so it's accessible content, uh, accessible content for everyone. Everyone is going to be able to complete this and get the rewards. And uh, if you're a brand new player and you're able to summon for some good characters, then you have a ton of boss rushes that you can complete very early on to the game and get a ton of dragon stones very early on into the game. So that's really, really cool, particularly if you have like LR Team Bardock. LR Team Bardock should be able to clear out every single boss rush in the game, in my opinion. I don't think you should really have any difficulty because it's just like that's a strong... That's a fairly strong team, and if, and if you even try to like start link leveling them, <laughs> level up a few of those links, then it's going to be even better, right? It's going to be a lot better. So uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to... Um, am I really getting screwed there? Yeah, I really am because I can't get that third orb to give Goku a super attack. That's unfortunate. Uh, I was hoping that those AGL orbs, there would have been a third one so I can boost up the uh, goku so he can get two key but unfortunately that did not happen so he wasn't able to it is what it is it is what it is we still are going to absolutely decimate these little boys these little cell juniors with this uh connected hopes team this agl pycon that i'm having a lot of fun using i believe he's only 55 percent. so at the rainbow star he's going to be really useful and that's one big thing that you can say about this pycon is the dude is useful like he's really really useful i'm a big fan of him um i don't think i'm gonna be able to well it doesn't matter i just need one person to super attack so it doesn't really matter at all we're still gonna be able to absolutely crush it with uh in gogeta as i drink some of my tea there it is cell jr is gone and now going on to the big boy cell getting the old super saiyan 3 transformation which does look damn clean i do have to admit that though it's funny because this guy came out you know uh, not like crazy long ago but it's been a little bit of time and i feel like nowadays that transformation would take 10 years <laughs> dude goku going super saiyan 3 are you kidding me they would milk that for all it's worth nowadays it would be an active skill you can use it and then it would be a minute and 20 of him just shouting you know ah, or whatever the case is so uh, i can definitely see them adding a super saiyan 3 in the future i am very curious at what tech super saiyan 3's eza over on jp is going to be about because 
that's going to open up a door for LR Super Saiyan 3 to get his Extreme Z Awakening. I do think he deserves it. He is a damn old LR, and he definitely needs a love uh, because he's like, back in the day, he was a cool and well-designed unit, and he was definitely, like, when he came out, one of the best units in the game. But nowadays, it's just annoying. He's just a really annoying unit because what ends up happening is if you want to be able to do damage then you have to forego his defense. If you want for him to survive defensively, then you have to, <gasps> excuse me, you have to forego his offense. That was me hiccuping and burping at the same time. It's not fun. But you have to forego his, uh, his you have to forego one for the other, which is really annoying. Um, and it's not like, oh, I am getting a little bit of damage reduction uh, but I'm still nuking or like, or I'm sacrificing uh, a little bit of my offense. I'm not gaining that greatly raising attack, but I'm gaining way more defense. It's like, no, you're just legit losing all your offense if you're not ultra super attacking, but you're gaining some defense. I think it's like 120% defense or something like that. Uh, it, it's, it's just rough, dude. It's really, really rough. You're just like, oh, that sucks. Like, I really wish that uh, he was designed better. But that's fine now because now they can redesign him with Extremes Awakenings. That's the whole point of EZAs. You get to redesign the boy, make him even better. Uh, also, I do love that super tech. I, I think it still looks real clean. Uh, the slamming from behind move. This one, not so much. Kind of boring. Final impact. Like, bro, that's literally a uh, big bang attack. What are you talking about? That looked like the big bang attack. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll do this. Give him that 12 key. Boom. Uh, not going to be able to super with him, but whatever. Uh, key is a little difficult on here because some of these guys have over in a flash. Some of them don't. Some of them have shocking speed, prepare for battle, whatever the case is. So I didn't really go too ham on trying to, you know, um, match them up. But did my best and still a decent little composition here. Connected hopes. Uh, I do hope that they come out with better... Like, they already have a Super Pycon in the game, right? I would like another Pycon. I want to see a Pycon that's able to... Um, I think it would be really cool if you add a Pycon that transforms. Uh, takes off his weighted clothing, just like um, Piccolo does, right? Because um, Pycon does that in his fight against Goku. Takes off his weighted clothing. Also, let's have... Pycon's cool ass techniques that he has the fire tornado thing the what is it like a tiger strike thing that he has as well he's got a lot of really cool unique moves that not a lot of um, people have that are uh, almost not that uh, like you don't see it too often in Dragon Ball Z you don't see techniques like that in DBZ so it's really awesome that he's got uh, very unique talents very unique abilities uh, whatever the case is, so that's that's uh, something that we definitely want to get a get a hold of in the game, bro. Like, let's make a unit, a transforming Pycon card that goes from having his weighted clothing off, and then afterwards takes takes those weighted clo clothing off, active skill transforms, and then boom, he's got a new set of super attacks. Uh, he's got a new set of you know whatever. I think that would be really really dope. Uh, I forgot what this dude's active skill is isn't it that he just like hits really hard oh god no it's the three minute long active skill oh i love this active skill but even still it's five minutes long jesus this video is already like 15 minutes long <laughs> and i still have like what three more bosses to go jesus all right he's absolutely gonna decimate though uh, unfortunately pycon's not on this turn so he's not gonna be able to attack but honestly don't really need it i don't think uh i'm pretty sure he's just gonna get wrecked by vegeta vegeta might just finish him off by himself uh 5.8 he's got type advantage he's got a nice little boost goku coming in with the kamehameha for 3.5 million damage yeah almost one shot him by himself and now he's done there you go bye bye gohan good one 
Uh, so pretty easy bosses, honestly. We got Cooler, and then we got Android 13. And that's the very interesting thing, is how behind boss rush is. Like, we're just getting to Cooler and Android 13. Those are some old units, dude. Like, they've been around, they've been around for a long time. So it's really funny that we're just getting to them now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're just getting to them now? Strength Cooler and AGL Android 13? Bro, what about, you know, the GT Heroes? Uh, what about, uh, you know, um, what are the new Dokkan events? Uh, Physical Kid Trunks and Goten. Uh, there's so many damn cards that you can think of. Strength Bojack, you know. There's like, just for four, just four of them. Just four of them alone uh, since Android 13 in terms of TURs. There's a whole lot of them that have come out since then so you can definitely uh yeah why not let's do this you can definitely get some great cards coming in uh to be able to yeah we'll use this as well to be able to use uh, utilize as boss rushes hell you get your next two boss rushes ready ready to go you know you strength bojack physical kid goes in trunks the gt goku and vegeta um, uh, who else did we have for Dokkan Fest units? Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, like, dude, uh, Physical Transforming Frieza, uh, Tech Transforming Trunks, you know? Like, there's just a ton of characters that can be added in that will give us more stages and more Dragonstones, baby. Also, let's go back to 40 Dragonstones. Let's get, let's get 40, let's get 50. Why not? Let's start getting some of that in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want to see um let's do this boom rainbow we'll do this boom unit super attack oof that actually screwed me but that's fine sorry goku you don't get to super attack but it's all good uh the other two will be able to so that should be fine we'll be able to do some decent damage there go ahead gogeta year three anniversary unit still putting in work it's been how long and the boy is still putting in so much damn work it's impressive it is impressive and it's oppressive how much uh you know skill they still have as of this day because not only are they good offensively they're still damn good defensively which is just as important in my opinion so uh yeah we don't really care that he wants to super us honestly we're gonna go ahead and do that we'll give him that there and then we'll give the boy that there and this is going to be a very strong rotation starting with the boy pycon because 50 percent dodge after he grabs that rainbow orb you already know what he does you already know what he do you already know what he did and then this is a beautiful super attack in its own right absolutely gorgeous never happens in the in the movie but <laughs> it is what it is right we're living in a fantasy world anyway it doesn't matter and then vegeta is going to come in and, and absolutely wreck full so after this cooler we go on to hgl thir android 13 so this move or this video is probably going to be like 25 minutes long which is not bad uh in terms of um length who just got hit for 25k was that Gogeta that I was just praising? Got hit for 25k? What's that about? Uh, even then, look how much health I still have. I'm at 446,000 HP after taking that damage. We started off at 537,000. Dude, I was running an LR team the other day. I think it was a Universe 7 LR team. That was almost at 700k, uh, which was just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, let's drop some orbs down. Let's, ooh, baby, baby, baby. I don't think PyCon's going to get, oh, PyCon is going to get some stuff here. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. 24, oh, 23 key for the Gogeta. Unfortunate, unfortunate, but even still going to do a unbelievable amounts of damage here with the 30% buff. Look at that. Almost 5 million on units that are now three years old. That is stunning 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 you gotta love that that is so damn cool to see so damn cool to see um yeah let's get these agl orbs down boom he's gonna be able to 18 key perfect oh my god and we got a dokkan mode already huh all right well i wish that i'd known that because i would have had vegeta go first but whatever i wasn't really paying attention whoa i went too early i went way too early there 
Way too early because I wasn't really paying attention. I ain't going to lie. Keep it a buck. A buck 50. Wasn't paying attention much here, but it's all good. We're still going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. Which is DPS at 3 million. Tax that. That ain't bad for Int Goku here who has, you know, 30% support. There you go. We'll take that. Dokkan Mojo is going to clear him out. We will take that for sure. And now we got our Gogetas here. And this should work fine. Boom. That will work good. Actually, this whole rotation is working great. This, uh, this team is working a lot better now. At first, I was a little iffy on it, but now it's working a lot better, and it's kind of clearing house. I mean, it makes sense. You got a lot of strong characters on here. Some good EZAs, some good LRs, some good Dokkan Fest. <laughs> you are. Bye-bye, boy. Bye-bye. I think it's time for you to transform, because once you transform, I'm not talking about you, Goku. Goku. I'm not talking about you, dude. Stop being the center of attention. I was talking about Android 13. Let him transform so we can wreck this dude. I don't know if he has another form beyond this. I think it's just this. And then he calls it a day. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but let's just go ahead and do this. Finish this off. We're, we still got a few more minutes until 25 minutes, so we're good. We can do this. We can do this. But anyway, guys, uh, boss rush, very, very easy. As you can see, it just takes a little bit of time. Uh, it's going to take most of you guys anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes. Um, if you don't have like top, top of the line units, then it might take you a little bit longer, but not too much. So, um, you know, maybe 40 minutes at most, but it's just a great event, man, to get you some dragon stones. So hopefully you can summon the LR UI Goku or the LR intelligence Vegeta. Uh, that's what I'm hoping that you guys are able to have some good luck on those banners. Um, because I'm hoping that I have some damn good luck on those banners as well. Uh, and I hope we all leave the six year anniversary winners, man, like big dubs for everybody. Stones well spent is what I want to see uh, for everyone after they leave the six year anniversary. And there it is. There is Boss Rush Stage 12 with a Connected Hopes team. Very, very easy uh, within 25 minutes. Always love to see that. And boom, complete. Let me get my Dragon Stones. Let's go ahead and go to Mission. Let's get the stones real quick, and then we will call it a day. Bow! 35 looks very, very good to me. What also looks good is if you're following the channel, if you haven't clicked that blue join button, you become a boomer champion like Joe V, or you can do it the free-to-play way. Gently rub that sub button, gingerly ring that bell button. Lovingly, ah, kiss the like button. As always, it's periodic. See y'all in the next video.